So this is a video to help you when stuffing and sewing up your avocado. So this one that I've got here is made in the double knit weight of yarn using a three millimeter hook, which is our standard size. But what I'm going to be making here is an Aran weight one. So twice as big using a five millimeter hook and our Aran weight of yarn. So what you've done is you've crocheted um, this in separate pieces. So you've got your skin on your outside and then you've got the um, flesh for the inside. And in the pattern, it told you to place markers like that as you went. So the most important thing is to line up those two markers because that's the tip of our avocado. That's that pointed shape at the top. You need to line those two up. Make sure that you've got the right sides facing outwards on both pieces. So that is the right side of the um, green, the skin, and the right side of the flesh like that. You can tuck all your ends on the inside. You don't need them anymore at all. And I would actually recommend using a fresh ball of yarn. Um, well, not a fresh ball of yarn, but be using your main ball of yarn rather than an end, because it is actually going to be a lot of stitches that we do right the way around the outside. But I'm just going to show you this on the short end here um, so you can see it to begin with. So line that up like that. And then what you need to do is double crochet these two pieces together. Don't try and stuff it when, before you start. What we're going to do is crochet all the way around until we've got a gap about that big. Then we'll put the stuffing in and then we'll finish off the last bit once the stuffing is in. So put your hook right the way beneath the stitch on the outside and the stitch on the inside and double crochet. So that one was just a slip there um, because it was me setting off from the end. But in through and double crochet. So right the way through that stitch, through that stitch and double crochet and go right the way around the outside. When it comes to the edge like that, so what you're doing there is you've reached the end of your final round when you were in your line. All you need to do is be a bit careful, slow down a bit when you get to that, and you'll be able to make that really neat if you just make sure that you do take that last stitch like that. You can just pull that end in and that will disappear. So when you get back round to this stage and you've got um, a few stitches left, it's now time to add that stuffing before you close it up. So just pop the stuffing in. And the trick here is not to overstuff it because you want that central bit to remain concave. So what you need to do is almost put the stuffing as if the stuffing is a donut. So do it right the way around the edge rather than through the middle. So you make yourself a hole like that. Get the stuffing around the edge, not in the middle. So you leave that nice hole that the stone can go in. A little bit more. And then when you're happy, all you need to do is double crochet those last few stitches to make that closed. So when it comes to sewing on the legs, I've just stuffed the bottom of the legs there and I'm going to sew the top closed flat. Like that. Then make sure you keep that centralizer in so you definitely know where the top is and you want the legs to be around um, six stitches apart. So if you draw that line from the centralizer down the middle of the avocado and count one, two, three stitches across, you can then position that leg in, making sure that the more bulbous side of the foot is facing the front. Then once you've sewn on one side, flip it and just do the same on the other side. That's gonna make them nice and strong. And then the same thing.
Next, the arms. Now the arms have a bulbous front as well, but this time rather than folding them flat, we're going to fold them perpendicular. So that means fold it the other way like that so that the line is in line with the front of the foot. Sew that closed. And then to give you exacts, because I know that you quite enjoy that in a video, I'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. About twelve stitches up from your legs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve up. That's where I've put mine. Obviously, that is again entirely your personal choice. And I will always sew these arms one stitch behind that edge. So where I've got that last round of double crochets where I've put the two pieces together, I'll just sit that arm with the bulbous bit facing forwards, one round back like that. So the last thing to do is to stuff the stone. Then gather those stitches and pop that in there. But first, I'm just going to sew the eyes on. So with a cream length of yarn. Draw a triangle and you can go right the way beneath that so rather than break that yarn make sure you've got a lovely long thread and you can go right the way beneath like that to pop the one in on the other side And then using your black yarn, add the pupils. And your avocado is complete.